today we are going to discuss about the class AVES in subphylum vertebrata, phylum called data, kingdom animalia. Class AVES in Latin, AVES means birds. So AVES are nothing but birds. And the special future of birds is flight. They fly with the help of feathers. And these feathers are the modification of four limbs. And there are some of the birds which cannot able to fly. They are called flightless birds. Example, ostrich, kiwi and penguin. The four limbs are the modification of wings. So the four limbs is used for flight because they are modified into wings. And hind limbs, so they are used for walking, running, swimming and perching. So perching means they, ha they, they have to hold and sit on a tree or tree branches or on any wires. You can see nowadays the electric wires, no? So they, how it can able to sit up. So that is, that, is, that is called perching. The skin is dry. So the skin is dry and it doesn't have any glands. Only the oil gland or preen gland is, that is, is present in the bird. That too at the base of the tail, the preen or oil gland is present. So the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton, when we talk about the ex exoskeleton, we have to talk about the feathers. So the epidermal feathers, that is the outer, the outer protective layer that is called the feathers, scales, claws on the legs and horny covering on the beak. So the exoskeleton, that is exo means outer, that is outside the body. So it got protected with the epidermal feathers, scales, Claws on the legs and horny, that is the beak is horny, no? That is, the, that is called horny covering on the beak. The endoskeleton, so it is fully ossified because it is, the endoskeleton is fully transformed into bones, that is bony. And long bones are hollow and air cavity, they are called pneumatic bones which is used for flight. So the pectoral muscle of flight. So the flight muscle or the pectoral muscles. That is pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. Which is well developed and it is used for the flight. And it is also called the flight muscle of the bird. So this we will see in detail in the pigeon class. Respiration is by compact, elastic, spongy lungs. So the respiration is spongy lungs. So it is elastic. And it is continuous. Continuous with air sacs which supplies the respiration. So which is supplement. So there is lungs along with that air sacs is also present which helpful in the respiration. Okay. The heart is four chamber. So it has four chamber. And aves, that is aves is nothing but the birds. They are homeotherms. Homeotherms means warm blooded animals. So migration and parental care is well marked. So migration means moving from one place to another place. So according to the, um, the environmental condition, it can move from one place to another place. For example, there is a particular season where the bir birds will come to the Parks like Vedendangal, birth sanctuary, the birds will be migrated during some of the seasons in the uh, time. In, uh, okay, in, in the time of spring season, it can migrate. So that is migrate and parental care is also taken. So the birds care, care, care their young ones. So urinary bladder is absent. So we have urinary bladder and even the uh, frog also has the urinary bladder. But here in birds, the urinary bladder is absent and sexes are separate and with sexual dimorphism. So the male, the male and female can be easily dimorph. So e easily you can divert it. That is you can uh, differentiate the 
male and female sexes that is called sexual dimorphism in males the testes are paired so the testes are paired but in female only the left ovary is well developed and it is functional and the right ovary is atrophied atrophied means there is no development so only one ovary the two left ovary is functional so all birds are oviparous oviparous means egg laying from the eggs the, the young ones will be hatch out from the eggs so eggs are megalocytic and cleidoidic cleidoidic means the outer covering is made up of calcium shell and megalocytic you can able to see it you, you are seeing the hens egg the ducks egg that that all you can able to see your own eye and it was very big okay and fertilization is internal so the fertilization takes place inside the body so that it is called internal and here the of the some of the examples corvus crow columbia pigeon cytocula cytocula here p is silent so cytocula parrot pavo peacock aptin aptinodites penguin neofron vulture calco apes indica tamil nadu state bird emerald dove so tamil nadu state bird is emerald dove and its zoological name is calco apes indica so hood pitohui pitohai dichorus the hood pitohai is a song bird found in the rain forest of new guinea the first poisonous bird to be documented a neurotoxin called homo batra cotoxin is found in its skin and feathers causes numbness and tingling in the in those touching the bird so in the feathers and the skin it has a neurotoxin if you touch the neurotoxin and it is poisonous bird also if you touches the bird it causes numbness that is numbness and tingling effect that is something something will take in place okay in the hands like that so when you touch the bird so it is highly poisonous bird okay and this is the common everall that is emerald bird which is our state that is our state bird tamil nadu next is this vulture you have seen it and this is the humming bird and this you know very well the pen queen okay these are the examples of aves hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box and if you want to watch the video of the uh, video of the topic in tamil i had given the link in the description box you can go and watch it if you like the video give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel